The traditional Christian view of demons is that they are disembodied spirits that afflict or possess people. The activity of demons, however, transcends this. Demons can also inhabit buildings, land or space. Ignorance in this area has led to the uncontrolled activity of these demons. This book by a Kakrabadi titled Squatters will expose you to this truth and give you practical steps you can take to overcome such demons. Get your copy now. You could be living with your enemy. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Squatters at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Hello. Kakra has been sharing a powerful series titled Step Into Your Future, gleaned from Joshua 1, verses 1 to 3, sharing keys we need to step into our future. Yesterday, he explained that we are responsible for creating our own future. Today, he shares one thing we need to create our future. Let's join in. Number four, strength. God said, be strong. Now, a human being is made up of three parts. Spirit, soul, and body. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24, the Bible says, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit, soul, and body. Your spirit is a part of you that gives you life. Your soul is made up of three parts. Your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your mind says, I think. Your will says, I want. And your emotions say, I feel. And then you come to your body. Now God told Joshua, as you are moving towards your future, you need to be strong. He said, if you are not strong, you cannot walk into your future. The anointing that you want, it will not come to pass if you are not strong. In Ephesians 6, 10, the Bible says, finally, my brethren, be strong. This is personal strength. Be strong. Colossians 1, 11 says, Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power into all long suffering, patience, and with joyfulness. Now, let me tell you something. For you to walk into your future, in other words, for you to see and experience what you have always dreamt about, every part of you has to be strong, which means your will, your mind, your emotions, your body must work together. If your will is strong, but your emotions are weak, still you fail. I had a friend once like that. Give an example. This, my friend, he loved some girl when we were in the university. And he told me that he was going to fast and pray and go and propose to the girl. So he went into fasting and prayer. Then in the evening, he had this bath. He dressed well, and he went. When he came back, I asked him, were you able to say anything to the girl? He said, no, I was afraid. <laughs> you know, spiritually, he was strong, but emotionally, he was weak. That is why to advance, every part of your being has to cooperate. And the Bible is littered with people like that. Look at somebody like Lazarus. Spiritually very strong, but physically very, very weak. A lazy man. Luke 16, 19, there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day. There was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was daily laid at his gate full of souls. 21 says, and desiring to be fed. Lazy man, but call for prayer meeting, he's there. 
Because Lazarus died and went to heaven. So spiritually, he was strong, but physically, very weak. Some of us are like that. You are a strong Christian. You know verses. You know prayer. But physically, very weak. So Lazarus died a poor man. And I say that story is not the story of Lazarus and a rich man. It's the story of Lazarus and the two rich men. Because there are two rich men in the, in the story. One was Abraham. One was the rich man who didn't know God. And then the poor man, Lazarus. The rich man also died and was buried. 24 says, in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. The man was so lazy, even in heaven, Abraham has to carry him. <laughs> but thank God he was in heaven. But he could not make any advance. Why? Because when you are spiritually strong, and you are physically Because to walk from Egypt to Canaan, apart from prayer, physically, you need to be very strong. Otherwise, you can't make it. Thanks for joining us. Today, we learned that we must be strong spiritually and physically to be able to create our future. Join us same time tomorrow when this exciting message continues. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. God provided miraculously. Dear Prophet, I asked you to pray for me concerning admission to the university and my admission fees. After your prayer, I gained admission and my fees were miraculously paid. I give God all the glory. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.